My name is Kay, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Uh, I would like to know who is your all-time least favorite house husband? Oh. 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 Am I, am I doing this? Yes. yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Oh, geez. This is probably an HR issue. Oh, all the phones come up. Nice. Um, and look at these two. Statler and Waldorf. Um, uh, the husband of Amber on Jersey. Yes. <laughs> the, the forgotten season of Jersey. <laughs> The twins. Yes. Listen, we tried. We were in a, we were in a, you know, we were regrouping. <laughs> it was a rebuilding year, as I like to say. Nothing was there. Did you drive past there? No, I saw it on the television. Nothing was there. I was the target last year. Yeah. And so it's just wow just to see the same energy being transferred to another married couple. Mm -hmm. And you happily know, married. A happily married. Couple. Because another that's couple. always the adjective. Mm -hmm. Because if you're happy, yes. you're not attacking other people. My God today. I was told I was gonna do an interview with a housewife. And when I walked in the interview room, I had never met Ashley. I didn't know what show she was on, and I was kind of like, well, where's the housewife? <laughs> <laughs> so mine is Melissa and Joe skipping Teresa's wedding. Girl, go, girl. Wait, who? We wouldn't have missed you anyway, because I'm the moment. And the bride is the moment, so who? Why are we even talking about them? Spectadores de Objetivo Aida. Vamos a intentar entrar. No, no puedo. No puedo. No. So, okay, no dips. Okay, sorry. I know, girl, me too. So, okay. I too have a Vicky is a monster story. Amazing. Sing grace, how sweet the sound. I just sang at your funeral. It's over for y'all. The first time I ever met Vicky, she said to Melissa Gorga, who was there in Las Vegas, Jill Zarin, who she treated horribly. Jill, Jill, where are you? And told us that none of us would be there if it were not for her. Lord Jesus. Gisela kind of insinuates that your husband hit on her. Mm. What is that about? What was your reaction? Well, I think you saw some of my reaction in the trailer. I, what I will say is this. When you are dealing with people who are lacking in personal lives, personal story, they have to resort to acrobatics, creative ways to, you know, construction paper, Elmer's glue to just make up um, school projects. Wait, Vicky, I heard you got interviewed today. Did you say something like negative about me? So I said, you are very nice. We don't know each other very much.
much. And the question to me was, um, something, who's, most overrated? who's the most overrated? And Hunky Dory's a good kid, but let me tell you something. You want to play? I'll play. One of the other things that we saw in episode one was the reaction to Mia's post. All right, then we got to Which one? The, your post about how you were feeling uh, with your health uh, and the cancer scare. Now that you've seen it, do you understand why there was some confusion around like what, what was going on? Sure, I can see that, right? I mean, I did originally post something and then I had to go back and I changed it because I really quickly noticed that everybody thought that I said I had cancer, which I do not, thank God. And I am well, I'm alive, and I feel good. I, you know, but I'm still, you know, going through a lot and I am still in testing and whatever's going on with me, I will prayerfully be healed. Um, but, and I'm gonna work through that and you guys get to see that. But um, at the same time, just don't question it. If you have questions, come to me. One of the things that I can't stand is like saying something behind someone's back, but you can't say it to my face. Me, you know you how the show works, right? <laughs> oh, I said right. it to your face. No, you. That's what no, we no, do. No, I didn't talk, talk about talk, your back. Talk, I said it to your face. You down you. the street, honey. You could have came over to my house and said, "Baby cakes, what's going Mia, on?" Mia, but you that was part of what we talked about later. But we're we gonna talk about later. See. out to you, Mia, and Yeah, we all did. did. All of us reached out to you. All of us reached out to you. Yeah, everybody reached out to me, and I thank you for that. Thank you, ladies. I was like, oh, okay. Well, you should have told us, because I was literally crying my eyes out about you. I not only reached out, I came over, and I fed your family. So I want you to know, while the girls, let's be very clear. Don't get shady with my family. No, no, let's talk about it, though. If the cameras weren't rolling, we were friends. But I came over and I checked on you from my heart and I fed your children and I spent time with you. But did you come to feed my children so you can go back and tell everybody that you came to feed my children? Bitch, a nasty, vile gutter snipe right up out the hood. No, but I would think that if you are having a health scare and I have been a true friend to you, that you would say, look, because Karen rode with me. Karen was there with me to, to the extent up. that I could be. So I was going to say this, though. Um, I'm not hung up on that, OK? I do what I do, not for the cameras, but because I'm real. The girls genuinely had questions. And you and I had actually talked. We, we, were, we were in a good place at that time. I think we'll see where we end up later. Um, and I'm hopeful that it will be in a good place. But their questions, I shared with you in advance that they had questioned you. And hold on, hold on. I'm just thinking that while I didn't agree with, you know, your, your channel of communication, I supported you. And I never questioned once anything about your illness. I just asked you, what could I do to help you? Right, you Thank did you. It. But that for the record. it's my social media page, so I can post whatever I want to. So. so I still feel like, you know, you don't question certain things. I would never question. I never questioned her post about having like ADD, AD, whatever it is that you have. I didn't question it. I just said, hey, baby, it's not, I we appreciate didn't. it. questionable it raised questions we were confused that's a fair when statement. there's nothing confusing there's nothing to be questioned but we were confused that's my opinion we did all speak about it you know in groups or in in twos or threes because you posted it on your social media you announced it to us you gave it to the world come on my phone won't work so of course we're then going to discuss it amongst ourselves and then of course we're going to come to you at whatever time and ask you about it. Giselle just got there first. <laughs> 
And me, me in, all, in all fairness, I think that you're right. It is your social media. You can post whatever you want to. But you have to understand that once you put anything out in the world, people can it question you to however you they want to. It belongs to, to the world. Fact. And that's and, and just and the that's truth. Fact. Bye. Bye. Get out. Bye, bitch. Now, the other part of the premiere was that uh, we saw Sharice make an appearance. <laughs> Robin, you called her the actual grand arm of Potomac. Okay. So I have to ask you, Ms. Karen, how do we feel about that? If Sharice were the grand dame of Potomac, she would be. She is not. I am. True T, bitch. But you gotta give Robin some respect. She and Sharice have history. She's rooting for her old girl. <laughs> What are you saying, Robin? I'm sorry. Oh, I, I said I do not care what you say. Well, you know what? Then don't comment on me because I'm gonna come at you and correct you every oh. time. Oh. Rocker drop. Oh. It's diva action. Oh. Oh, Kelly, Kelly. Oh. 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 Who are you excited to meet from the Bravo world this weekend at BravoCon? You know what? I have not seen the Queen Dom yet. <laughs> Sad. What, Karen Huger, Karen Huger where are you? Karen Huger, Huger please I've come to the bravo.com and if you share it. Get the right, fuck well out of my mother's face. Get out of my go face. Way. Go that way. Go that way. And Sutton is so nice. She's oh so, my God. Everyone, for the most part, is so nice. Everybody's so nice. Everybody. Was there anyone that wasn't nice to you just between us? Yes, one person was super nice. Who was nice. it? I'm just going to say that she was from New York and I was very sad. Because oh, I, I, I was, was a big fan. I got a heart attack. <laughs> Can you be honest, how happy were you when uh, Candy and Marlo weren't getting along this season? Did it make you happy? Did you want to see them be friends? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah. My friends drop him day by day. Every day I lose a different one. Lose another, lose another. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. Candy and Kenya, what did you both think of Marlo getting a peach this season? We think two different things. I want to hear both of these we opinions then. two separate then. opinions. Okay, Candy. Well, I guess I'll sit. I'll start. <laughs> well, I felt like... Her, her, mouth, her mic went out. Oh, her mic's not working. Yeah, her mic's not working. It's so <laughs> weird. Well, I felt like Marlo needed to finally get a piece. She had been there for so long, but we never, like, really get to... Like, she gets the benefit of hanging with, that, with us without having to do all the extra work of letting you see our personal life. And I felt like we should be able to dig into her personal life. Yeah. I felt like we need to know what's going on with her mom. Now, I still haven't found out what's going on in her relationships yet. Like, now that, we need to push that button. Like, where are the boyfriends at? Where is the man? <laughs> Don't do this to me. I don't want to hear this mess. We need a bone like collector. Because she's always coming after her bitch. Right. But, like... I still don't know who you're talking about. You never heard of her. You've know, you never heard of her. What? That is shocking. Okay, so it was eventually cleared up, but she was talking about me being a hoe and comparing it to like a movie where I was in a menage a trois and I'm like, I was acting. <laughs> so I was like, what are you doing, Candy? Like you're co-signing this. Are you insane? No, 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 no. See, she said I was co-signing, Marla. That's what she said. And I was like, that is not true. Right. What they did was I said what I said, like made my joke and they cut away to Marlo. I'm like, me and Marlo never even discussed it. They cut to Marlo to make you feel like we were aligned together. That is not what happened. I feel like Candy's not the type to use a menage a trois against anybody, is all I'm saying. She's, you know what I mean? I'm fine with whoever she wants to sleep with. Yeah, that's I'm right. I'm just saying, don't talk bad about me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. Like, don't say anything I never, bad about me. I would never co-sign someone calling you a hoe. Like, never. Like, I know you're sex positive. But I didn't call you a hoe. It seemed like it. Because they <laughs> cut away to Marlo. Really? Yeah. Okay. Karen, I'm curious your reaction to Robin Dixon saying that Sharice is the real grand dame of Potomac. I have my career. You guys don't. 
You want what I have. Wait, who is Cherie? Yeah, she was... I, uh, that's what I said. I really don't know. <laughs> I cannot be in the picture again. It's not clear to me. If she were the grand dame, she'd be the grand dame. She is not, and I am, and that's it. Bye. Bye. Get out. Bye, bitch. But as for Robin Dixon, Robin Dixon's loyalty to Sharice, I'm like, okay, I thought you were up Giselle's bush. Oh my God! Robin hadn't had a voice for six years. I just heard her speak this year. <laughs> yeah, so for me, it's just been a tough, tough season because my family was targeted. Was there ever a point where you're like, maybe I don't want to do this anymore? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The thing is, I think I would have satisfied some people. So I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. I want to know from each of you, which from the other housewife cities, who has embraced you and showed you the most love and who was the shadiest and gave you no vibes? Y'all know y'all wanted to know that too. <laughs> Um, so we'll start with you. All right. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a lot of love from everyone, so thank you very much. Yeah, um, that's good. Especially the most shocking, like Giselle from Potomac has really been amazing. Give it up. Yeah. Um, I tried to talk to Larsa today, and I got a little shoulder. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Larsa, girl! She did at a later time kind of give me like, do I know you? I was like. Meredith, for you, who gave you the most love and who gave you the most shade? Well, okay, so the love, I would say, well, first of all, Caroline Stanbury was a friend before I oh, never nice. had anything to do with this and a big part of the reason why I actually went forward with it because she oh. talked about her experience with Ladies of London. So that was definitely like my earliest level of support. And then after that, Dolores, she's been really supportive. Love it, Dolores. As far as shade goes, um, it's only been behind my back and I've heard about it, so I will refrain from speaking about it until I... You're the only brave one. I respect you for that. You're, Thank I respect you. you. I respect. You Who was it? Film. Can you give us an initial? Mm. Not till I know. She'd tell me. Fault. Okay. Let's Will see. she tell you and then you tell us? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? I told you. Speaking of, I heard the panel for Salt Lake yesterday got pretty deep. Oh, did it go, Whitney? Any thoughts about it? Yeah, that was pretty shocking. I learned a few things on that panel. Okay. Um, I'm going to be completely honest. I feel like I was gaslit the entire time, so I was in shock of what was going on. <laughs> but I have to say, keep watching the season, and you'll understand why it was so spicy. Have a good night. We wish you all the best on the song. We're all going to buy it. Thank you. Jill spoiled Tamara's return to the Real Housewives of Orange County on Instagram. Tamara responded on Twitter, go F yourself, Jill, you thirsty bitch. Disrespectful. It's just, Y'all, it's elementary. That ghetto shit gotta go. I just wouldn't. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> For 12 years, that, that I, I, I went. I was gone years. for two. Who the f do you think you are to out me as coming back? It wasn't your place. I just oh, wonder. Um, and did you not do it on a outlet that you got paid? Oh. Yeah. Did you, yeah. you got paid for this information? Okay. okay, I have a subscription that's on Instagram, and it's. Parasite. 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 Um, what is the most fun thing about filming with your BFF, and what is the most stressful? I think the most fun is just having fun with your friend and not having to worry about it. The most stressful is calling your friend out. 
I was going to say, say, like, what we're wearing for tonight's, you no, know, when No, when I got to call you out for bullshit, I'll call, call you out. What, or I'll, I'll call, call you, you out. Okay. Have your best friends ever said anything about you in confessionals on camera that really pissed you off or hurt your feelings watching back that come to mind so we yes. can rehash it? Yes. Yes. Can you revisit those yes. bad feelings? Yes. What would I ever I say about it. you that would hurt your feelings? Well, I don't even want to say it again, but yeah. <laughs> no, you have, but I don't, uh, yes. Do it. No, Ultimate Girls Tip 3 no, no, coming at you. Oh! <laughs> and I got booed. <laughs> I did. I Again, I feel like it's a rite of passage, and now I've got the name right, WWE. I feel I felt like a wrestler because growing up, I watched wrestling at our local armory, and the big people who were the stars got booed. Does that just show you that, you know what, they have to care? Is it their booming with that? I don't know. Booming. I thought it was a rite of passage. I mean, I've been in this yeah, business for like 32 years. I've never been booed in my life, and I was like, wow, that's cool. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? Because most everybody was like, oh no. Oh, are you okay? I was like, are you kidding me? That's the greatest thing greatest thing ever happened to me. And scene for the actress. She got booed on stage. Yeah, it's, it, you know, I, that really bothered me because, um, you know, we're all putting ourselves out there. And if, even if you think someone did something wrong, and, you know, even if I'm upset with somebody, you don't want that to happen. We drink a strawberry and champagne. Hold on, let me get a strawberry. Let me get a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> let me get a strawberry. I love you. Okay, so there's been calls for your firing. How do you react to that? Um, how do you react to that? I go, okay, that's cool. You know, great. Looks like me and the producers need to have a little bit of a talk. Now, you called her Hollywood's biggest bullet. Do you mm -hmm. regret saying that? She just got booed on stage. Well, that's that's unfortunate. No, I don't. I cannot be efficient again. I mean, she is a bully. She's bullied everybody, and I think that that is just the worst. We got you. We got you. Okay, let's see it. Who has the worst fashion sense on this stage? Fedra. What the motherfuck happened? Nigga. Phaedra, any rebuttal? Chapel. Any comment? Well, I own most of my clothes. Uh, uh, by the way, you're not in a prom dress. I am a model. I get paid like as one of the biggest celebrity designers right now to wear and advertise this. So I'm here working and making money, bitch. Should have told them to leave that Kinsey Ara dress for a teenager. <laughs>